Welcome back. Last time I showed you how to draw a path. Now let's take a look at some details about these paths. Let's take a look. One of the things you can do, if you have your path highlighted, you can come down here to the bottom of your places, right above layers, you got this like connect the dots like button. I'm gonna click on that, and this will take me to the beginning of the path. And then in a few seconds, it will play. And now it's doing what's called a tour or a fly through of the path that I created. Down here at the bottom left, you have a player, so I can pause, play again, fast forward, maybe rewind, so on and so forth. When you're done with the touring, make sure you exit out of this player, or else you can't do anything else in Google Earth. And now I'm gonna double click on my path to go back to its snapshot. That's called a tour of a path. Let's take a look at one more thing. I'm gonna right click on my path and go down to show elevation profile. And this will give me the ups and downs along that route. So if I start here at my house, you can see the arrow on the map as I move across the graph. And basically this is almost all downhill to about right here. And then I have this long uphill stretch to about here, which is the high point. And then it's a little bit downhill on the home stretch. You have the stats across the top. 2.87 miles, elevation gain loss, max slope, and average slope. If I want to take a closer look at this uphill section, I can click and drag on the graph from here all the way to here. And this uphill section is just over one and a quarter miles long. You see now the stats update to the highlighted section, and it's hard to see, but along the path, it highlighted as well. This is called an elevation profile. When I'm done with the elevation profile, I click on the X right here to get rid of this graph, and I'm back to my Google Earth screen. So there are two fun details about paths that not a lot of people know about. I like to use paths to illustrate running routes, uh, different routes I take to work, or even in the military I might want to uh, visualize an MSR or ASR or even a route that an enemy might take across borders to smuggle illicit stuff. Thanks for watching. Map your world.